Okay, researchers at the University of Waikato have discovered that oxytocin could be used as an appetite suppressant. Our bodies release the happy hormone naturally when we exercise, fall in love and during childbirth. Clinical trials now show it can stop us from overeating too. For more on this, I'm joined by nutritional neuroscientist Dr Paul Oshevsky. Uh, thanks so much for coming on tonight. Are you able to, in simple terms, explain how this actually works? Well, first, thank you for having me. Um, oxytocin is a tiny molecule synthesized in the brain, released in the pituitary, released around the brain that does two things in terms of food intake control. One thing that it does is it makes us feel full. Um, so it basically mimics the effect of stomach distension. On the other hand, and that's why it's so important from the point of view of appetite regulation, is that it makes us desire palatable foods less. So especially foods that are sweet, uh, foods that taste good, and foods that we tend to overeat. It's incredible research, isn't it? And what, how, how do you see it being used to tackle obesity? Well, the majority of our calories come from foods that we should not be eating, eating. That's the reality of it. We overeat on foods that are palatable, high in sugar, foods that are sweet. So the molecule that has a natural capacity to decrease our drive to eat these sort of diets um, has definitely a promise in terms of obesity control and food intake control, and as well as shifting our interest toward foods that are more beneficial for our bodies. So this is all in the lab at the moment. How can, can we stimulate our own oxytocin and help us stop binging while we're waiting for the research to come out? Well, uh, what we are doing also in terms of our research is we are looking into various foods, how they affect oxytocin release. And we are indeed finding that using special diets, certain dietary modifications can have a beneficial effect on endogenous, so our own oxytocin release, so without any supplementation of the drug. But this is still early on, but definitely the data are very promising. Yeah, right now amazing the States, advances there. Thank you so much for your time and thank explaining you so much. that for us tonight.